Hi, it's Katrina. From an ancient monolithic sandstone object to medieval buildings nobody knew existed, here are nine mysterious archaeological discoveries. Number 9. My Son Shivalinga Earlier this year, the Archaeological Survey of India's conservation efforts led to the discovery of a monolithic sandstone Shivalinga, a representation of the Hindu deity Shiva. Found in the Cham Temple complex of Vietnam's Quang Nam province, it dates back to around the 9th century. The fully intact, elaborately decorated structure is part of a Hindu temple complex at the abandoned Mai Son Sanctuary, a UNESCO World Heritage Site constructed by the Champa or Cham civilization. It's the latest of at least six Shivalingas that have been recovered at the site, which encompasses many temples built over the past 1,000 years. French researchers discovered the dilapidated temple complex in 1903, but only very limited excavations were conducted. In the following decades, war and political unrest further harmed the site, but excavations eventually resumed, leading to this and other important discoveries. The Champa culture once ruled a vast part of the region, where they built over 300 temples, 70 of which are located in the immediate vicinity of the Mai Son Sanctuary. India and Vietnam share a rich history that dates back 2,000 years, and in these archaeological sites you can see a lot of the shared influences in the artistry and the names. Number 8. Sistine Chapel of the Ancients Just last year in 2019, a team of British and Colombian archaeologists discovered tens of thousands of prehistoric rock paintings of animals, humans, geometric shapes, and handprints that were created around 12,500 years ago. Known as the Sistine Chapel of the Ancients, the images depict some extinct animals, including a mastodon, which roamed Latin America until around 12,000 years ago, during the last ice age, as well as giant sloths and prehistoric horses. This helped researchers date the paintings, which also consist of animals that still exist, including fish, turtles, lizards, birds, and people. The artwork was made with red ochre by some of the first people to arrive in South America and was most likely added to over several generations. It was not an easy place to find. The ancient paintings cover a steep 8-mile stretch of cliff that was found at a remote location in the Colombian Amazon rainforest at a site known as Serrania de la Lindosa. The team drove two hours, then hiked for four more hours to get there. But some questions about the artwork remain unanswered, or at least up for debate. Perhaps the most perplexing aspect of the images is that some of them were placed at such high altitudes, a drone is required to see them. In the absence of modern technology then, how did they get there? How did the ancient artists scale the cliffs? Among the paintings are depictions of wooden towers with what look like people bungee jumping from them. Nobody knows what the contraptions were, but experts believe they were used for creating paintings in hard-to-reach places. More discoveries are likely to be made as archaeologists explore territory throughout Colombia that was inaccessible until relatively recently due to the long-standing violent conflict. Number 7. Sahama Lines In the western Bolivian Altiplano, or Highlands, is an ancient web-like network of pre-Hispanic linear paths known as the Sahama Lines. Located near the Nevado Sahama volcano, the lines constitute the largest archaeological site in the Andes. They run a combined length of nearly 10,000 miles and occupy a total area of around 8,700 square miles, which is actually 15 times larger than the space covered by the Nazca lines. The Sahama lines were constructed over many generations and may date as far back as 1000 BC, but researchers know very little about them or the people who created them. It's evident that the lines were created by scraping away the ground's surface rock, soil, and other material to reveal the lighter layers underneath. They traverse through rugged terrain, more or less in straight lines, with the longest lines measuring as much as 12 and a half miles long. Experts believe that the ancient culture who built the Sahama lines may have used them for navigating to sacred sites and villages along the way during pilgrimages. The remains of shrines called Waakas and burial towers called Chulpas are also intermittently present along the lines. During the early colonial period, the indigenous Aymara people used the Sahama lines to connect Catholic churches, shrines, and hilltop chapels. Prehistoric artifacts and ceramics found along the lines indicate that the Aymara people not only reused the paths, but also the objects that the previous society left behind. 
there is evidence that some people in the area may still use and follow the mysterious lines. Number 6. An Ancient Necropolis In late November, archaeologists announced the discovery of 400 ancient Islamic tombs containing at least 4,500 bodies on a five-acre property in the Spanish town of Tauste. They were found on a burial ground dating back to the 8th century, around the same time Arab forces began conquering the Iberian Peninsula. Christian kingdoms fully reconquered the region by the late 15th century, although it took them several hundred years, and while the Tauste region's cultural association has long suspected that there was once a large Islamic settlement in the town, this settlement was seemingly conspicuously absent from traditional and literary sources. But evidence in the form of human burials and architectural remnants indicated that the cultural association was perhaps correct, and this recent discovery further bolsters its claims. The two-level necropolis was first excavated in 2010. During the dig, archaeologists uncovered 44 graves dating back between the 8th and 11th centuries. Authorities ordered a more extensive excavation this year, and over 400 more burials turned up. They were all facing southeast toward Mecca and positioned to the right in accordance with Muslim tradition. The somewhat unexpected discovery stands to reshape long-held notions about Islamic settlements in the area, reflecting a much larger Muslim presence than previously thought, going all the way back to their arrival in what is now Spain. Experts are now excited to dig in to learn more about this time period in history. Number 5. Venus Figurines Some of the world's oldest known artwork consists of a collection of voluptuous female statuettes known as the Venus Figurines. Over 200 of the curvy creations, which are best known for their telltale large breasts, buttocks, bellies, thighs, and hips, have been found in various parts of Europe and Asia. They trace back to the Upper Paleolithic, better known as the Late Stone Age, with most of the figurines dating back between 21,000 and 26,000 years ago, and the oldest to around 38,000 years ago. The statue's thick bodies have long confused researchers, since obesity, a common problem in today's world, was practically non-existent at the time they were created, when the human population in Ice Age Europe consisted solely of hunter-gatherer societies. Some experts interpret the Venus figurines as representing fertility, motherhood, sexuality, and or beauty, but exactly what was going on in the minds of their creators is admittedly unknown. A new study led by University of Colorado medical researcher Richard Johnson offers a new potential explanation for the statue's shapely physiques. After examining and measuring the bodily proportions of dozens of the artifacts, the team suggests that the Venus figurines represent survival. They notice that many were carved during the last glacial maximum, a part of history marked by extreme climate change, namely plummeting temperatures and the expansion of glaciers worldwide. Moreover, the figures that were carved in places farther away from ice masses were less obese. During this time, humans undoubtedly were put to the test when it came to their nutritional upkeep and simply staying alive, especially those who lived in the most frigid regions. It's possible, therefore, that people carved the statues as a symbol of survival in the face of increasingly difficult living conditions, and that the curvy bodies represent what they saw as ideal proportions for women who lived close to glaciers especially when it came to having successful pregnancies. Bigger was beautiful. This is perhaps the most likely explanation for the statues to date. If true, it means that the figures, which appear to have been passed down through many generations, influence the thinking and movement of early human societies more than scientists ever realized until now. Number 4. A Mysterious Marking Jorgen Bronlund, a Greenland-born Inuit and polar explorer, was the last of three men who perished in separate locations during the ill-fated 1906-1907 Denmark expedition to Greenland's northeastern coast. In November 1907, after his travel mates had succumbed to the harsh Arctic conditions, Bronlund found shelter in a cave and made a last-ditch effort to survive. As Bronlund grew weaker and more hopeless, he wrote down his final thoughts in a diary. I reached this place under a waning moon and cannot go on because of my frozen feet and the darkness," the last entry reads. The bodies of the others are in the middle of the fjord. Unfortunately, Bronlund also died and his body is the only one of the fallen that was ever recovered. A group of explorers found and buried him in 1908 during another expedition, taking his journal with them. His petroleum lamp was found in 1973. 
The last page of the Explorer's journal contained a thick black marking that scientists were unable to identify for a long time. An attempt to analyze the smudge in 1993 came up fruitless, but a more recent study was able to chemically analyze it using newer technology. As it turns out, the marking is made up of various chemicals that are usually present in burnt rubber, animal fat, petroleum, and human feces. But why the last ingredient? Scientists believe that Bronlund tried igniting his own excrement in a desperate attempt to get his kerosene burner to light. It sounds strange, but in the man's state of hunger, fatigue, and freezing, he was willing to try anything that he thought would keep him alive. And given the same desperate circumstances, we all probably would too. Number 3. Shimao Carvings A series of rock walls on China's lowest plateau were long mistaken for being part of the Great Wall, which makes sense since traces of the structure do run through the region. But people began to question their initial assessment of the old rock walls when jade fragments and artifacts began turning up. With the nearest jade source being located over 1,000 miles away and the material not being used in any Great Wall features, its presence at the site was perplexing to say the least. To get to the bottom of the mystery, archaeologists began excavating several years ago, but their findings led to even more questions. The team dug up the remains of an ancient fortress city called Shimao, including over six miles of buried protective walls that once stood around a 230-foot-tall pyramid and other structures as well as jade artifacts, fascinating murals, and stone sculptures of serpents, monsters, and other creatures. Parts of Shimao are as much as 4,300 years old, making it at least 2,000 years older than the Great Wall's oldest sections. It was mysteriously abandoned around 1800 BC, after flourishing for around 500 years, and despite its magnificence, Shimao is strangely absent from ancient texts. The most shocking evidence the team found suggests that human sacrifice was performed within the city. Beneath Shimao's eastern wall were six pits filled with at least 80 human skulls, indicating that a beheading ritual had occurred nearby. Most of the victims were young girls, possibly members from a rival group that had been taken prisoner. The gruesome discovery constitutes the first known instance of human sacrifice in China's history, and the sheer scale of its violence is unprecedented, in the words of archaeologist Li Min. What's left of Shimao shows that the city was a cultural enigma in ancient China, and the discoveries there have the potential to change what today's experts know about the region's past. Only a small portion of the site has been excavated so far, meaning that there are likely more mysterious artifacts and ruins waiting to be found. Number 2. A Medieval Mystery An archaeological excavation in the English port city of Hull recently revealed the existence of medieval buildings that are not found in contemporary records. Found in the city center, the remnants of two buildings are among the first things a team of 70 archaeologists discovered during a dig to remove around 19,000 bodies at the 237-year-old Trinity Burial Ground in anticipation of a road construction project. The building's uses are unknown, but experts believe that they may play an imperative role in Hull's history. Archaeologist Stephen Rowland of Oxford Archaeology North told the BBC that the structures may be part of the poorly understood settlement of Wyke, which was located next to what was once the River Hull, and what is now a street. The ruins extend beneath what's left of a sawmill and warehouse that were bombed and destroyed during World War II. A pottery fragment at the site was dated back to the late 13th or early 14th century, and its manufacture was traced to the town of Beverly in Yorkshire. At the site, the team also found an 18th century jail, which was used for at least four decades starting in 1785. Convicts who were awaiting trial or to travel to penal colonies such as Australia stayed in the six-room building, which contained 13 cells. Number 1. Ancient Carving Archaeologists were stunned when drone footage captured images of a massive cat geoglyph on a Peruvian hillside near the famous Nazca Lines. They spotted the faded carving while performing renovations on the UNESCO World Heritage Site. It dates back to sometime between 200 BC and 100 BC, according to the country's Ministry of Culture, which released a statement about the discovery in October. The prehistoric cat etching is believed to be older than any other ancient carvings in the area that have been discovered since the Nazca Lines were first spotted in 1927. But it's certainly not the last that archaeologists will ever find. It's quite striking that we're still finding new figures, but we also know that there are more to be found, archaeologist Johnny Isla told news agency EFE. 
Over 140 new Nazca lines were found in 2019 alone, thanks to drone footage, making this the latest discovery one of many, and with more to come. Thanks for watching! Which discovery did you like the most? What did you think was the most mysterious? Let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe for more like these. See you tomorrow! Bye!